I definitely do use this one. How I'm not going to say anything. The miracles and stuff is a bit. Um, an area where I have some scepticism on the level, I suppose. But um, yeah, I don't know. It's I fell out of religion a little. Um, See, what we would say is mostly we have. I mean, in the Islamic narrative, Christians are deemed as people of the book. To him, revelation was given. Yeah. Unfortunately, that revelation over a period of time became corrupted. The persona of Christ became elevated um, centuries after Christ left this earth. But yeah. essentially, from the New Testament, he espoused that he claimed that we should worship one God. Yeah. He didn't invite worship for himself. Neither did he claim to be God. Can you can you can you confirm that, please? Uh, my friend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I know a little bit, so yeah, <laughs> not too much, yeah. but yeah. So what did uh, you... there's actually a verse that I just saw today. Um, there's a verse in Matthew chapter nine, chapter verse, chapter nine, verse, verse, three. verse three and four. In one particular translation, it says the Jews were thinking to themselves that he's claiming to be God, right. and um, Jesus, you know, says to them, "Why do evil thoughts come into your mind?" So yeah. they're thinking he's claiming to be God, but Jesus is saying, "Why, why are evil thoughts come into your mind?" Yeah, yeah. No, so, so uh, in, in our view, yeah, Jesus ne never claimed to be God. Um, so he will consider it to be evil. Yeah. yeah. So what we're saying in the New Testament, Jesus never makes any claims to being God. Number one. Yeah. Explicitly, rather, more fascinatingly, he, he confirms that he is a prophet of God. Explicitly. Yeah. In two, pla in many places in the New Testament, yeah, Mark yeah. six four, Matthew twenty one. So he says that that he's a prophet, which is the affirmation of Islam. He's a messenger of God. Mm. Muhammad, upon whom be peace, same thing, just a messenger of God. Yeah. No, no more, no less. We believe in the one true God, same God that you believe in, God the Father, as Christians understand. Yeah. However, that is the only sort. That is the only one singular uh, God. Allah is the Arabic name for God the Father, as you understand. Yeah. Simple as that. Yeah. So I do think that's why I think it's all like everyone believes in the same person, so to speak. It's same just, being. It's yeah. a different name, really, yes. isn't it? And it's the same, similar messages run through, really. Yeah, I mean, would you say would you say that's the case? Yeah, I mean, um, in the Quran it says God, our uh, two God belongs to the most beautiful names. So call him Allah or call, uh, call him by whichever name uh, that that you know uh, God. Yeah. Uh, but we, we we like one um, person mentioned um, that uh, you should the name that you give God shouldn't conjure up a mental image of him. Yeah. Because God is beyond anything we can fathom. Or imagine or dream of. Yeah. Um, so the name shouldn't create some mental image, because just like um, Moses says in the Ten Commandments, uh, God says to him, um, "You should not make any likeness of him, neither the things in the skies or the sea beneath or yeah, upon yeah. the earth." Um, so yeah, so call him Allah uh, or call him um, Yahweh. Yeah. Uh, just as long as you don't have like a graven image of him. Yeah, yeah, no, I hear that. So yeah. that's the fundamental and relentless message of Islam. Yeah. Of God, you make no imagery. He's not a man. He's not a woman. He's not an idol. It's, it's, not, it's, not, like not, a li it's not like a living being in the traditional sense. In the it's, sense that we exist in that in yeah, this realm. A, yeah. He's beyond. He's, he's in the metaphysical, yeah, which, yeah, is, yeah. which is beyond the universe, beyond the creation in that sense. No, absolutely. I agree so that, that is yeah. that is the same. So what, what we're advocating. That's the same message purported by Jesus as well. Yeah, and the Gospels are re replete of that. Isn't there one in John 17? What was that one? What's that one about? Um, is that this life is eternal that they may know you as the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. Mm. So uh, often we say like um, when Jesus says you are the only true God, yeah. uh, who is the you in the you are the only true God? Yeah. So obviously it's not speaking about himself, but uh, yeah, yeah, no. that, that makes sense, whom yeah. you call the Father. Yeah. So in conjunction with you being a Catholic, you probably <laughs> want to make a move as well. So we're not going to keep. Yeah, I've got. I do have some. I don't. Yeah. I'm oh, not in a okay. mad rush. Yeah. But so we wrap up very quick. We don't want yeah, to delay yeah. you. So just in conclusion, God is one. That's the overwhelming message of Islam. Yeah. That's the message of Jesus, Moses, Muhammad, upon the peace. That's their fundamental message. Yeah. Islam espouses that. It claims to have the, the final revelation to God, to mankind, from God to mankind. Yeah, yeah. And it's a method that we have one which one. In, in the Quran, Mary is honoured in the Quran. Like she has a chapter named after her. Oh. And even her birth is mentioned in chapter 3. Okay. Um, and uh, her, uh, it says that Mary's been chosen to be above the women of nations. Yeah. And um, she's given the, uh, the news of a son whose name will be Jesus, uh, the Messiah, um, the son of Mary, um, who will be held honour in this world and in the next life. 
and you will be in the company or the ranks of those that are close or dearest to God. Okay. So um, both Mary and Jesus are spoken about in very high terms. I know as Catholics you hold Mary in a very high esteem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in Islamic understanding, Mary is the greatest woman who ever lived. Yeah. Oh. I repeat that, it's very interesting, you see. <laughs> it is, I didn't know there was such a sort of overlap so, an and And there's a stuff. verse in the Quran as well. I'll, I'll wrap up now and then yeah. let you go. So, yeah. one day. Surah 5, verse 82, which you was reading there. Yeah. In which God says that the nearest in love to the believers, which in this context are the Muslims, will you find those who say we are Christians? Amongst them, there are priests and monks, and that they are not arrogant. Yeah. So, God, and then finally, promise 30 seconds more. Yeah, no, that's yeah. true. It's a verse in the Quran where Allah says, God says, let's come to a common terms as between us, Muslims, and you, the people of the book, and other people, yeah. that we worship none than the one true God. Yeah. So it's actually God is reasoning through the Quran that we all people come to that common understanding. There's only one God upon whom you give no association, and that's the relentless theme of this particular thing. Yeah. So read it, enjoy it, and I'm sure yeah, you'll be able to it. Good, good luck with thank Ramadan. So yeah, oh, really thank you, you too. Thank I you. I can not imagine just like how difficult it is at times. Trust me, it's not at all difficult. It's is it longer over here? It's like the hours and stuff. Of course, it's when the sun goes down, isn't it? Yeah, that's the time that you break the fast. But the time of um, uh, with, with the fast, like where you the cutoff point from where you can't eat, uh, that's around about I think around about half four. In this time of year, anyway. Yeah. It can be rather long in the summer, but it's a big do you, um Do you sometimes, because I know some people, they base it more on sort of like Mecca and stuff, so what it's the time for, is it just where you are? That you no, where you are, it. so you're not going to, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So obviously if it's midday in Mecca, you're not going to open it over here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, right, so you know, so just genuinely yeah. intrigued. No, it's like one oh, of them sort of differences with yeah, that no, absolutely sort of thing. Okay. I think what yeah. you'll observe, it's not too dissimilar to Christianity, however, there aren't concepts like a man dying for the sins of mankind. So Jesus, yeah. in, in the Islamic narrative, Jesus doesn't die for the sins of mankind. And furthermore to that, the fundamental repeat, you may you may think, all right, I'll get the message when you read it. You yeah. can say that God is one. No partners or associates. Prophet Muhammad, upon whom be peace, is just the messenger of God. Yeah. He came to the Arab community, who essentially were the transgressors who believed in many entities other than God, yeah. and who had fallen on the wayside, who were, bar were uh, barbaric in their methods. He came amongst them, to bring them out of this barbarism and to worship one God alone. And that was his singular task. Yeah. And then Islam then went forth once the message was spread and it went from um, China all the way to Morocco. It was spread nearly across the whole world. Yeah, yeah. And that's, that's the fundamental message. So in our understanding, all the prophets represent God. And there's no distinguishing between them. Yeah. All right, well, I do have to okay. get on. Please do enjoy reading really it. Sorry if we too much. Okay. Not at all. Okay, no, that's great. Thank you. Yeah,